Hey researchers, be honest, when you are finding a research gap, how many times you have sat in front of your laptop, scrolling down multiple research papers and thinking, okay, where is my research gap? It's frustrating. You have a ton of literature in your hand, but still you are not going through the right research gap. You are stuck where it is, where from where I have to start because a research gap is the backbone of your research. And I have talked about multiple times about the importance of research gap, the types of research gap and how you can find it with or without help of AI tools in my previous videos. You can find them all in my AI in research playlist. That that's exactly the struggle I used to face whenever I have to find the research gap for my own research projects or for my clients. Until or unless I have started using AI tools and developed the entire step-by-step -step process to find an appropriate solid research gap by using these free AI tools. The last one is paid but it's offering you weekly subscription which is quite pocket friendly and is enough to find an appropriate solid research gap with related literature and suggested methodologies. You can access all of these tools from the links which are available below in the description and before moving forward if you have not yet subscribed my channel press the subscribe button and share the video with others because this is going to be very useful to build a strong research gap for your upcoming research. Hey I'm Dr. Rizwana I'm the founder of Scientific Pakistan, a platform which has been specifically designed for researchers to train them to solve their problems in the form of a services and to provide them one-on-one -on -one mentorship to give them a strong push in their research journey. You can access the link of Scientific Pakistan from the description below. Now let's dive in into the video detail. The very first AI tool is my most favorite AI tool. Whenever I have to brainstorm, I have to do conversation and to get multiple ideas and that is by Google named Google AI Studio. You can access it by going through the link which is stated as google ai studio dot google dot com and then you will go come up with this type of interface now this tool is offering you multiple features and you can watch my previous video on this where i have explored its multiple features which you can use being a researchers you can convert your handwritten sketch or handwritten infographics into a very compatible 3d uh, workflows or uh, process diagrams and you can also brainstorm and write with the help of this ai tool i didn't use this tool to write any document but but whenever I stuck with ideas, I always use Google AI Studio and it doesn't matter at which stage of my research are. So for example, when I have done a lot of literature and I'm still seriously, so for example, I'm at the very first step of refining my research gap. I have gone through multiple research papers. Now Google AI Studio is going to help me to come up with the very focused very to the point research gaps which are novel addressable and you can definitely put a value and your research inputs will be valuable for that community so for example i want to know about the effect of volatile solvents on the lungs of the research students or of chemistry research students so this is not the focus point but i am very much sure about two main keywords the first one is the volatile organic solvent and the second one the effect of the lungs to the people who are interacting with these volatile organic solvents on a daily basis. So whenever I feed the tool about the uh, idea or whenever I want to use these tools for brainstorming, I feed these tool and this feeding is called prompting and your prompt mostly consists of a three parts. Who you are, what kind of a role you want to ask these tools to perform and third, what will be the format of the response this tool should give you. So for example, in the role I am a PhD researcher and this is my PhD topic. So I'm going to giving it the format in the form of help me to refine this research idea. Now I will get multiple research ideas specify the effect effect is abroad what specific physiological or pathological changes are you interested in acute or chronic effect specific lung conditions or biomarkers specific specify the volatile solvents class of solvents specific solvents or mixtures and then specify the chemistry research student uh, exposure level control group or pre-existing conditions then consider the mechanisms oxidative stress inflammation direct cytotoxicity and immuno 
modulation and then these are the options and by combining up all these specifics these are some options which this tool give me investing the prevalence of respiratory sensitizations and airway hyperresponsiveness in chemistry research students exposed to halogenated volatile organic solvents the impact of chronic low level exposure to aromatic hydrocarbons on lung functions parameters and inflammatory biomarkers in chemistry post graduate students so for example this is my topic which found me i found very much relevant to my interest and to the available structure of my laboratory and according to the expertise of my supervisor then i asked this tool this is my phd research topic help me to find the research gap with research problem questions in the objectives you can stay focus on the research gap in the initial stage or you can add all the relevant terms you want to get an idea and you want to explore further because when you are developing any kind of a new research its title its research gap research problem and questions its aims and ob objectives if you are working on natural sciences then hypothesis and finally which kind of a methodology you are going to use to cover this kind of a research gap is the main body of that research topic so you first have to finalize with the main body when you done then you will move towards the writing so don't mess up the body with the writing because when you finalize that body by going through the literature by discussing it with your supervisor and your senior colleagues then the second step comes that you start writing about that you go for the further details you go for the literature finding and to write it according to the format provided university samples so as you can see this is an excellent defined topic identifying the research gap general understanding of the field occupational exposure field a lot of research exists on high level of occupational exposures to aromatic hydrocarbons or laboratory exposure studies or lung functions and inflammations then specific gaps likely to be present low level chronic or specific chemistry post grad so our focus is uh, graduate students or students who are working with it on a daily basis so this is the specific research gap this is my research gap develop the or the parameters of research on the basis of this gap so in this way you will brainstorm you will come up with the ideas this is not the final stage these are the raw ideas which google ai studio provides you although they are actionable although there will be literature available on them and you have to read the related literature now this is the point where we will move towards our second rule and that is the answer this aio for further clarification for further purification of this research gap to see its multiple variations and to see the related literature we will move towards the answer this aio you can access answer this CIO with a one month free credits by using the link which is available below so you can use answer this CIO in free for one month and google ai studio is also free we are copying this concept and we move towards the answer this CIO after login with your gmail id we will scroll down and go towards the research gap finder feature of the tool now you can see how to get the best result be specific about your research area include relevant keywords from your field and mention specific methodologies or approaches so for example specific to research post graduate students most uh, i will field the tool about the research title topic and then i will field it to about the research gap so at this stage i can even use this approach or i just feed this tool about the title of my research and i can ask google ai studio to give me different type of a research gaps which i can explore and then i will feed this tool with all those research gaps one by one and this tool will provide me the related literature about all those research gaps and i will be able to find the relevant papers on a single click just by staying on the same tool and there will be no need to go to the other platforms which are helping me to find the related literature and is in this way i will be able to brainstorm with those ideas and to understand the related literature by staying in the same pool research gap finder the impact of chronic level exposure to aromatic hydrocarbons on lungs function parameters and inflammatory biomarkers has been extensively studied in occupational settings mainly among industrial workers however the specific scenario of chemistry postgraduate students remain unexplored this population is unique due to their age exposure patterns more frequent small scale experiments potentially longer daily hours over years variable baseline health profile 
as and varying awareness and awareness to safety protocols. A comprehensive review and meta-analysis examined the effect of inhaled substances with the profile similar to aromatic hydrocarbons and all that. This is the all related literature which is supporting this research gap and answer this AIO is validating this research gap. I will just click on one and this will take me to the related paper titling marijuana use respiratory symptoms and pulmonary functions and then uh, African dust storm reaching they can cause to stimulate the this specific uh, cytotoxic human bronchial system and all that so I will be able to see these two research papers and I and I even can click on them and can find the related literature just by making that paper save it or I can copy it and can use the citation map of the feature of the origin AI and just setting this paper as origin I will be able to see the related literature about that topic and I can see the citation map and where I can find all the related papers which have been published on these studies. So on this is, answer this AI is a great tool and the beautiful thing is to find the research tab to write about your any kind of a research document and there are many features which I have explored in my previous videos about this tool. You can find all these videos in my AI in research playlist if you want to really explore the potential of AI tools in each step of your research journey. The third tool is a very promising, very potential tool when you are moving to finalize your research topic and that is the Avexana. I also have covered this tool multiple times and have a very long brief videos on all the features of this tool in my AI and research playlist. Go At the moment we are going to explore its research gap finder feature. You can access again this tool from the link which is available below. After signing in with your Gmail ID you will come with this kind of interface. So when you go to the home these are my recent activities which will be appear on your home and when you go to the uh, topic formulation you will get three options I want to develop a new topic I already have a research topic or I have a supervisor suggestions for example I have a supervisor suggestions and those are this topic so this topic is have excellent details and then I will go towards formulate my topic for that purpose I have to use the credit at the moment I'm just going to show you that how this works. for example this is the research topic which I have designed so this tool will take you along step by step step will show you different kind of options of that research topic along with research gaps and you have to find the topic with appropriate research gap now this is the research gap and this is the research now this is the research for example this is the research topic and then this is the research gap it will show you the uh, research gap in percentage uh, if the research gap is less than 20 it means your topic have not been covered so much in literature and there are so many chances of novelty in that topic if it lies between 25 60 to 70 it means it have been covered in the literature and have a good potential to be explored further and if it have a research gap percentage between 70 to 100 so this topic is has been very popular in research and literature and there is so much stuff available and to bring the novelty in that topic will be hard for you so your research gap should lie between 30 to 50 percent then this is a good topic to choose because you will find the relevant literature and there are chances of novelty also this is the summary with this tool provide you about the importance of that specific research gap and then you will also get common research method which are not appearing yet but you can see them this is the related literature with this tool is providing you so I'm just showing you my previous uh, projects about which I have to work and you can access this tool just by in 4.99 euros per week and can get two formulate topics one refined topic then you can two revised topics credits and then you can lock the topic even which will allows you to not show your topic idea to any other person who is searching the same kind of a research ideas Avexana is going to secret it for you and you can lock it and that will be only yours so if you want to go really towards a potential research gap a research gap which your supervisor like and will add a huge value in your academic career you should follow this process go towards the Google AI studio then refine those ideas with the help of answer this AIO and then you can and make it show yeah that you are in the right direction with the help of Imana Baksana because this is going taking you more close to your practical research. Before moving, if you have not yet subscribed my channel, don't forget to subscribe it for further these kind of videos and don't forget to share it with others who are looking for this kind of help and assistance. I will see you in another video till then. Take care yourself. Bye bye.